Yo, 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 people and patrons of the night, it is your boy, BD, and I'm once again back again to talk about the limitless cavern that is the horror genre here at Happy Hours at the Horror Tavern. So make sure that you grab a seat, you take a drink, because we're going to be diving back into Tales from the Dark Side. Now, there's some really good episodes from Tales from the Dark Side that I thought about covering. Um, there's also some of the worst ones out there that I thought would make for pretty fun videos to talk about. But I had a rough day at work today. Um, I've been... Basically, by the next couple of days, I would have been working eight days in a row by, like, Sunday. So by this Sunday, I'm going to be marked working eight days in a row. And we've been dealing with hotel, because I work at a hotel. Dealing with elevator problems, shit keeps on breaking. Dealing with customer complaints, you got no control over. And on top of that, management. So some management decisions today were absolutely fucking stupid. I mean, some of the most mind-numbingly stupid inside politics dumb shit happening at my workplace so basically i'm in a pissed off i'm in a fiery mood and uh i'm gonna be doing a goose junkies episode tonight where i'm gonna be roasting some bad media so i thought hey why not if i'm in a not so good mood and the people need content out there it's time to roast and uh, i'm gonna be talking about a tales from the dark side episode from season two that has got to be the most what the fuck plot i think i've ever seen in my life i mean if you could take a Tasmanian devil, shoot it up with heroin, and let that motherfucker cook up a 45-minute professor lesson in front of some kids at Stanford, this is the type of shit that would be pumped out. I mean, this is the type of shit that whatever the fuck Stephen King was on, he would be jealous. He'd be like, yo, I need some of that. Or maybe he might even be afraid and be like, yo, 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 I knew I was on some shit. But whoever made this episode, I don't need to touch that. This is the most fever dream what the fuck thing I've ever seen in horror media in general. Whether it be books, movies, or TV shows. In this case, it's a TV show, but this shit transcends all of horror media. This Tales from the Dark Side episode is like the most random go-go gadget bullshit plot episode. And yet, I feel like everybody needs to watch it. Because once you watch this episode... I can promise you that there is not going to be any other horror story, whether it be movie, TV show episode, or book that you read that's going to top how weird and mind-numbingly dumb this one is. So for all of you out there, even though I don't recommend you watch something this stupid, it's so stupid, so bad, and so crazy that I don't think it could ever top a lot of other things that you may experience if you're a horror fan so just watch it alone for that so if you can't tell what i'm talking about by the title it's uh tales from the dark side season two the episode fear of floating fear of floating man jesus christ i need to drink for this i'm all sweaty and off work and i'm tired but i gotta talk about fear of floating because it is one of the most what the fuck stupid plot lines i've ever seen I'm not one to tell people what they should write or not write because it's creative liberty. You do whatever you want. But you can't help but think after watching this episode, there's a million other things you could have done and should have done. Maybe you could have even adapted something for all I know. But then you get to this and you're like, why does this exist? Why? That's the big question. Why does this exist? Why did I have to watch it? And why should you watch it? Well, it, it, it's a Hall of Fame what the fuck award it's something that is a a gem in terms of something that you'll never forget so that's why you should watch it so let me talk about the plot and then get into my actual rant slash review of it so fear of floating it's tales from dark side season two episode it's about these two um military recruit workers they're at the opening of this military agency. It's a guy and a woman. They've been there for apparently like two weeks stationed there. They're out like at the place where you have to sign up to join the military. The show is back in like the early 1980s. If I, I believe in the early 1980s. So you got military, you know, people trying to sign up for that. So they've been waiting there for two weeks for somebody to show up. Nobody showed up. So they're basically just waiting there and waiting there. You know, they're playing chess. They don't really got nothing to do. And they're kind of wanting to get more people to sign up because then they can get the promotion, the status increase, the money increase. And eventually this young looking you know young good looking kind of guy comes in you know kind of just sort of your average sort of dude with blonde hair 
got the button up shirt, got the pants. He comes in, but he's got these giant, like heavy boots on. And he comes in and he starts proclaiming that the reason why he came into this building was not because he wants to join the military because the people try to convince him to sign up for the military. He says, I'm not here to join the military, but specifically I'm getting chased down by some people who want to kill me. And he explains that he escaped from a circus. And as he escaped from this circus, um, the reason why he escaped was because he was this famous central act at the circus where he has the ability to float where when he takes off his shoes, he's able to float and they would use him as the human balloon show at the circus. And then um, he basically said, all right, you know what? I don't want to be in the circus life anymore. I don't want to be the one who's getting basically jumbled up my entire life into this whole circus entertainment gig. So he decides to escape. People chase him down, shoot at him, try to kill him. And he's like, all right, I got to figure out a way to protect myself. So he ends up going to the front door of this military recruitment center and then says, all right, I'll sign up for the military as long as you can protect me and guarantee that I don't get killed. And they're like, okay, okay. But are, are, are you sure that, you know, you're able to float or not? Like, are, are you just messing with this? And then he takes off his boots and he does float. He, he's not able to fly, but he's able to float. And he explains like, you know, how it all started. Like, I think like a couple of months ago, he just started floating out of nowhere. He was afraid that he was gonna float off into the atmosphere, you know, not be able to breathe and die. And how floating is so terrible because flying, you can control your movement. Floating, you're just sort of a victim. It's sort of just like, you know, you can't even move and shit. So it's all this back and forth. And then these people who are after the guy shows up outside of the military building and the next thing you know you got a shootout the guy who's like recruiting him starts pulling out his revolver and starts having like a mexican standoff next thing you know there's people outside and then it turns out that they're not really looking like circus entertainers the people who are showing up and threatening to kill the guy is like this older farmer looking dude with the double barrel shotgun and you end up getting a standoff between them and then there's this young sort of well gee golly do to do kind of girl who shows up and then proclaims that she's pregnant and uh she's having this floating guy's baby <laughs> and then you have to figure out is he lying is he making up shit or is this an undercover disguise because the more and more he tries to explain the situation the more and more ridiculous it sounds and then you find out about his life story how he got into this predicament and uh how he's gonna get out of it and maybe maybe not his ability to float ties into his backstory and uh some moral lesson that's supposed to be learned yeah um i don't think there's enough lsd cocaine heroin k2 crocodile that could make me understand what the fuck the story writers were thinking of when they came up with this shit it makes no sense if the plot description alone makes no sense to you just watch it it's the most looney tunes live action who frame roger rabbit go go bull for who frame roger rabbit at least is more coherent this is the most go go gadget makes no sense tales from the dark side episode i've ever seen in horror media in general as well and uh, I can't believe somebody would make this. It's so fucking stupid. The, the main character makes no sense because he's all over the place. He's a compulsive liar. And his ability to float is chalked up to some moral lesson that's supposed to be learned. Fucking Dora the Explorer. PBS kid style. Oh my god. The fucking characters are all like goofy as hell. The, the, the chick that he apparently made pregnant is like supposed to be like extra derpy and goofy. Like she's straight out of a Looney Tunes cartoon. The hillbilly farmer guy is like the same type of way. The military recruit people are like your comedic relief. What the hell did we get into kind of people. It's just all over the place. It makes no sense. The very twist ending is a little dark. But outside of that, this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. And honestly, when people say Tales from the Dark Side is all really good, you watch this and you watch some of the other lows in the series and you consider whether or not they might be smoking the same shit that the writers are doing. So that's all I got for today. I hope you guys enjoy that short review. Again, go check out Tales from the Dark Side Season 2, Fear of Floating. Hands down, it's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen, one of the worst things I've ever seen. And uh, I was trying to go review a good movie, um, today, um, but since I was in a bad mood, I thought I might as well make fun of some dumb shit. So 
that is my review slash rant of Fear of Floating Tales from the Dark Side. This is going in my Hall of Doo, Doo specifically the most what the fuck award. So yeah, I have officially watched and seen the weirdest thing ever in horror media thus far, and I don't think it'll be beat. That's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. What's the score? This shit gets a three, two out of ten. No, what? two out of ten for how stupid it is. It gets a two out of ten. Uh, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button down below. Stay tuned for more content to come. Stay cool. Stay classy. And uh, enjoy the summer vibes. That's all I have for today. And uh, don't float away. Deuces.